Hope is both fragile and powerful. It can encourage, strengthen, and build up. But unfulfilled hope can discourage, tear down, and destroy. Have you ever really put your hope into something, exerting all of your effort, pouring in your emotion, mind, and will, but was left feeling devastated, distressed, and even angry when it didn't work out? That college you wanted to get into, your dream job, the political candidate you voted for, your sick relative in the ICU. The Bible talks about a hope that does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. It is the living hope that we have through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. It is to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for us. Psalm 33, 18-22 says, But the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear Him, on those whose hope is in His unfailing love, to deliver them from death and keep them alive in famine. We wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In Him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in His holy name. May your unfailing love be with us, Lord, even as we put our hope in you. About these verses, Andrew Murray says, The lower we bow, the deeper we feel we have nothing to hope in but his mercy. The lower we bow, the nearer God will come and make our hearts bold to trust him. Let every exercise of waiting let our whole habit of waiting on God be pervaded by abounding hope, a hope as bright and boundless as God's mercy. The fatherly kindness of God is such that in whatever state we come to Him, we may confidently hope in His mercy. And now, think of the God on whom we wait. The eye of the Lord is on them that fear Him, not to prevent the danger of death and famine, that is often needed to stir up to wait on him, but to deliver and keep alive. For the dangers are often very real and dark. The situation, whether in the temporal or spiritual life, may appear to be utterly hopeless. But there is always one hope. God's eye is on them. Oh, the blessedness of waiting on such a God a very present help in every time of trouble, a shield and defense against every danger. Say it not only in solitude, but say it to each other. The psalm speaks not of one, but of God's people. Our soul waiteth on the Lord. He is our help and our shield. Let this be our strength and our encouragement. Hope that we invest in our lives can be unfulfilled and lead to discouragement. It is oftentimes temporary and uncertain. However, through God, we can have a living hope, both for this life and for knowing that one day we will be with Him forever. And this hope never fails. By opening your heart to Jesus and by the rich mercies of God, you too can have this living hope that never fades.